All right, this is the first one of our sort of critiques on initiation of the capsular rexus. And I, I think one of the things that we're going to notice quite a lot in this first set is it's a very gentle approach. And remember, we're tearing an elastic membrane. And gentle is not necessarily the right approach. Forceful is, but it's got to be forceful and controlled. And you can see how by this stage we're getting some nice wrinkles. And rather than push down and make those wrinkles convert into the actual rexus, uh, they're strummed almost like a rubber band or a guitar. And then the wrinkles go away, the tissue springs back, and we really don't get a flap. We do have a lot of cortex that's being stirred up here. Now this section takes about 54 seconds, but we will eventually get a flap. You can see it begin to develop, and there it is. Next I will use some 3D modeling to point out how this rexus could have been more effective. Let's look at our first 3D view, which is pretty much as one would see from looking down through the microscope. Um, I've pretty much removed all the eye except for what would represent the lens. Look at this new view though. This is one that you never really get to see and teachers really have to just sort of verbally explain. Uh, but I think it can be very instructional to look almost on face or opposite the cystotome with, as it does what it needs to do. Here is station two in this rexus initiation where the initial incision has been extended into a cut. Here is the 3D view opposite the cystotome and to this point the rexus initiation has gone smoothly. This third station is where the surgeon begins to convert the slit into a tear by pulling the cystotome toward the keratotomy. And now the accompanied 3D view as the capsule begins to peel free. Again, by this stage, the process continues to go well. Let's look back at the beginning of this video in about 30 seconds where the rexus initiation really bogs down. And I'm gonna start putting on some videos, or actually sort of four of these 3D images where you can see why what is being done here is not effective and why it's taking 30 seconds uh, to actually achieve the, the slit to um, flap conversion. Here is the first of those images and it almost looked like it's good, but what you should notice is that the cystotome is not engaging the flap. It's actually sort of proximal to it. And there's actually another problem that you cannot see from this image, and I'll bring on this next image now. In this one, you can see that the tip of the cystotome was not even engaging the lens. That is the main problem here, is that we're too high or too far up in the anterior chamber, and the tip is not engaging the tissue. That's the beginning of the problem. The next one, which occurs in that sort of 30-second window where they were having troubles converting the rexus to the flap, is because the cystotome is twisted so that the needle is actually pointing to the left of your view here. And because it's pointing to the left, we're decreasing even more its ability to interact with the flap, which is what we're trying to turn. And here's that other view where you can see that not only is it above the tissue, um, it is also turned. And so the combination of those reduces even further the ability to grasp the tissue. Let's look one more time at this segment of the video where there were troubles uh, with the overlying images showing why there really were these problems. I would suggest you sort of stare at this or pause it or rewind it. Maybe even go back to a section where these images are not superimposed so you can really understand what the issues are here. While we're at it, we probably should just go ahead and show you how it should be done. And here we have two views. The first from the top where you can see the cystotome properly engaging the flap and the second from the side where you can see that it's down at appropriate height above the lens surface. Well let's wrap this up. There are some other things that we could have gone over but I think it would be good just for us to review through these images that we put together. And uh, here's the next to the last before the flap is created and sort of here's how it should have been grabbed to make it work effectively.